Today is a big day. It's a big conference. There's uh, over 1,500 people expected in the room, including a lot of uh, central bank governors, a lot of dignitaries, you know, and a lot of government officials. So a pretty big day. One of the first things that I do when I wake up is always a bit of stretching, but also a couple minutes of meditating just to focus on the night, on the day event, and what's going to be ahead. You know, if you travel a lot, I found the most important thing is to continuously work out. You know, one thing that's always with me is my gym shoes. Uh, and everywhere that I go, I always make sure to make time in the early morning to go hit the gym. If you don't do it in the early morning, chances are you're never going to have time later on to do it. What I find often, uh, often in many cities I'll go run outside. I find it's a great way to discover the city. Other places I'll just use a gym. Often when I'm running as well, I like to watch some funny videos. Uh, Lacey, the reason I've been listening to a lot to the Last Week Tonight with John Oliver or watching The Patriot Act with uh, Hassan Minaj. So a lot of good content there. See you guys in a couple minutes. But one thing I often try to do when I'm working out is really visualizing again what's going to happen during the day. Visualizing me coming out in front of the audience, how I'm going to deliver the talk. You know, it's often a lot of it's actually visualization and thinking about it beforehand. Oh, now ready to go. My favorite thing of being back in the Middle East is I can have excellent Middle Eastern breakfast. One of my favorite breakfasts of all time is full madamas. You know, having grown up in an Armenian family, my mom used to make this when I was a kid. I still believe my mom makes the best one, but I think the Ritz Carlton comes pretty close. Bon appétit. So one thing I do every time before I go on stage, even if I've given this presentation hundreds of times, I always, always practice the presentation once or twice minimum beforehand. So it really ensures that I'm actually able to respect the time of the presentation. The way I look at these presentations is if, if somebody's gonna sit for half an hour and listen to you, you better give them value. The other thing that I do a lot in the morning is really getting the voice ready. I do a number of exercises. For example, one of my favorites is this. One of the most important things when you come in the morning before you go on stage, make sure the AV works, do some action, make sure that you have the right slides and everything is working pretty well. And these guys at the AV are your best friends during the conference. So we're here backstage, uh, about to go on stage now in a couple minutes. One thing that I always do whenever I'm here for a presentation is always listen to the keynotes that are taking place before. Because at least then, whenever I speak, it allows me actually to relate what was discussed before. 